Good morning, folks. We're starting with the fireball visible to Australia last night. People said it actually shook their homes despite no official earthquake being registered. They actually think it may have impacted the waters offshore. Anyway, we've got geomagnetic activity, thankfully tempering seismicity, weather around the world, and the major Europa announcement, but we'll begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star actually had pops north and south in their thin dark filaments. It does not appear much ejecta was released, however, and Earth is not in a line of fire, at least not yet. Two plasma filaments, one already near center disk, are incoming and should be monitored as they turn. Big guy still at the limb. But solar flaring wasn't about to get out of bed for some surface surging of plasma filaments. He's content to watch a now good-sized and beta-polarity umbral group turn out of view on the south with little magnetic mixing in lieu of a lateral spread. He'll be gone in another couple days. Geomagnetic storms take the top story. They continued and instability lingered as the coronal whole solar wind stream takes the speed up a notch. Just low-level storms now, but another density blip this morning in orange at the right side could mean even faster particles are coming. If so, the storms will intensify and technological and health alerts will come into play. Eyes open. Of course, the coronal hole began its Earth-facing tenure with a rapid uptick in earthquakes, mostly in the West Pacific. Remember, though, that geomagnetism has modulated these upticks in the past, and as the main core of the coronal hole begins to face Earth, we have traded in the instability beneath our feet for one above our heads. In the interim, we're seeing a volcano going on alert in Indonesia, ready to erupt in the next few days. And across the water, we took three four-pointers in California. That's above average, and we'll be eyeing the area. But globally, we're having a bit of a downtick. On to the big story today, folks. The subsurface ocean of Europa is nowhere near as quiet and calm as people thought. This is exactly what we speculated on this past week's podcast, that they would be showing greater volatility to the water content. And indeed, there are jets, similar to Saturn's moon Enceladus, spewing water out around the Jovian moon and the entire mini-system there. Up next, Ignore the warning and attempt landing there, or maybe just fly through the jets, whatever. Website members, this is of course a significant star water revelation, and if you have managed to somehow not see that multi-part series yet, just click premium, then scroll down to star water. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. We'll see if geomagnetism can keep the quakes away. It's 4.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.